Ibaraki Prefecture to eat angler fish. Ibaraki trip, yay! Sky tree. Guys, on this Ibaraki trip, we're gonna eat that angler fish. We just stopped at a rest area so uh, we can get some rest and uh, yeah, I want to show you. There's a Starbucks here. Check it out. Okay, it kind of looks like croissants, donuts. Yeah, you're going about what? 220 yen? Yeah, it kind of looks like this. Uh, rice bowl inside the service area. We got it looks like the famous food of the area. All these nice Or, you, you, you see the gross fermented bean called natto. The oh, bean is right here. It's called bale. It's not bale bean. This character is called Anio. Look at some of the specialty drinks here. We have a huge pine. Really, really tall pine because you see the people. Oh, it is our hotel. This is in Ibaraki at dinner time. We're gonna have a gift shop. Right. I'm about to eat anglerfish. Yay! We gotta check this out. So bad. fish. This is what we're gonna be eating. Wow. Shrimp. Shrimp. Cool. Ohashi chopstick. It's really soft. Oh, there you go. It's a uh, clean. I think it was mushroom. I don't know. It's kind of fleshy. Mushroom's chewy. There's a slight hint of apple. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat some of the sashimi. Alright. Put some uh, soy sauce. Mm. Mm. Very soft. Mm. I love it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mmm, the shrimp is sweet. Mmm, the shrimp is very sweet. And this is deep sea fish. But, uh, it looks like braised and soy sauce. Mm, the meat's a little tough, but sweet. Very good. Mm. Get you the angler fish. Wow, delicious. Wow, this looks like meat. Overall, very light tasting. This is the monkfish hot pot. With all the monkfish meat, or the let's try it. Mmm, mmm, tastes a little bit stringy. It's very light. Mm. Yeah, almost no taste and light and stringy. But otherwise, I taste protein. So it goes very well. There you go. This is monkfish liver. That's matcha salt, right? Top of fish. Looks like some zucchini. And some other veggies that I can't identify. <laughs> Let's try it. Paul's gonna try a fish. And look at this juicy, crazy guy. Look how fat. You put that in the matcha salt. Oh my god, it's so soft. I think I taste eyeball and brain. But it is light, crispy, very deep fish taste like brain. <laughs> but um, it's good. I, I grew up eating that stuff in China. But anyway, let's try the zucchini. Again, the salt, matcha salt. Mmm, zucchini is juicy. It's like a more flavorful cucumber. Very soft, not crispy at all. It almost tastes fluffy. Salty, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys, because uh, we're here for the monkfish. Monkfish, monkey. Here it is. That's the meat. I already showed you, but let's have one more piece of video because. 
Yeah. We're all here for this. This fish. <laughs> so this is the fish. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. Very soft. Light in taste. Maybe just five to six percent soy sauce. Yep. Fluffy. 5% soy sauce taste but you know it does taste meaty lots of protein mm. one more time let's try this is the monkey fish or angler fish um, light and soy sauce flavor so let's try mm. chewy light Maybe five or six percent soy sauce. Good meaty protein. It may take a unique palate though. Not everyone's gonna like this dish. <laughs> but I like it. It's not on the top of my list, not on the bottom of my list. Somewhere in the middle. I'll give this a 6.5 out of 10. Kind of like grits. Making the Japanese rice with soup and egg. Some leftover hot pot miso, adding some coffee, nutella, rice cake. All right, looks like at the end of the angler fish meatball in clear soup. It's actually kind of nice. Just some parsley. It's gonna go. Taking a bite out of pudding. Oh, yeah. And this is me eating that piece of pudding. Tastes like regular pudding, but it's really good. <laughs> I have to admit, it's regular pudding, but it's good. It's homemade. That's what they call it, homemade pudding. And thank you for watching. Yeah. Saying thank you. This is breakfast. Rice, oh, yeah. Ooh. rice here. It's a little seaweed pot. Seaweed. The sashimi, grilled fish, salad, and shirase. Tiny little baby fish. What's in here? It's a little egg tart. Looks good. Clam. Orange. And vanilla. And cult yogurt. This museum is Japanese style salad or steak. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Japanese steak. This is beef from Ibaraki. It's 150 grams and it looks great. Tucky steak. Beautiful. It's soft as butter, but it tastes like steak. You can uh, taste a little bit of hint of uh, beef. And the slight hint of pepper too. The one side's more fatty than the other, so that's like a third more fatty to my right side. But it, it's so soft, like butter, or something softer than butter. Thanks. Don't forget to eat it with rice.
Mm. So I got the steak, now I'm eating the rice. Rice with steak. Mm. Perfect. Don't forget to dip in the daikon. Roshi sauce. Yep. Three, two, one. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Oh. And one more. And this is how I drink miso soup, even though I have cat tongue and it's really hot. You don't need a spoon. Correction, this is shijimi. Little clams in the miso soup and it really rounds out the taste of the miso. Delicious. Check it out. Check it out. It's so pink. So beautiful. Oh, nice. This is Hitachi Gyu, Hitachi beef. Don't forget to try salt. This is Ishigaki salt. Spritz, spritz. There you go. salt. Mmm. Mmm. Enhances the flavor without overpowering it. Alright. We were there. We were there today. And then we drove all the way to here and then here. This video we walked here. Wow. The fall looks like that. People can bounce down. It's a good place. All right, and going back we go. Yeah, it's not. Uh, so it should be steady. People are like camping. Okay. You know, holes. I can feel the bridge. Okay. <laughs> Look at this little town right at the bottom of the waterfall. Oh my god. Soft cream flags. Everywhere. Look at that A little village here in Ibarra. Oh. Wow, look at these creepy, creepy, it's a nice sunset. Seven dollar pillows. 